My mom is still as, as hard working as ever. This one is different from the one most of you know. Okay, this one is the local one. My mom has selected what she needs. Majority of the ones she wants from it, from this. So she wants to go and store it for planting season. So that the next planting season she can use it. So be a this one, you are not doing anything with it again. Yeah. This one. Okay, you throw that one in. You guys, when I came home around, let me show you guys around. Let me show you something. When I came home in June of 2022, all this place was greenish and it has a lot of cassava on this land. But right now it is empty. They have harvested the cassava. And then here, if you remember, this was the place I talked about melon. Some melons that we saw here, including a goosey and punky. All the melon family were here, planted here, and then there were yam here. This place looked greenish at that time. There was yam, there was water yam, there was cocoa yam, there were, um, what is it, cassava. Okay. okay, so we had all of these things here that time. Everywhere was looking green and beautiful, but right now, it's harvest time and my mom have really been harvesting so she have been harvesting but right now she want to harvest something to cook this morning so she have harvested and gather her yam somewhere right i'm going to show you some of the yams i'm taking some to ghana in fact i'm taking so many things from here to ghana for free since I have been able to get to Kili all the way from Accra, which she considered very, very expensive, which is true, it's expensive. Oh. But because I've been able to come all the way, because I've been able to come all the way, my mom said I must take some things with me, including yam, gari, cassava floor, and then uh, including yam floor. That one is not something we know in this part of Nigeria, but me being a Yoruba girl, you understand? I'm a Nukele Yoruba girl in Nigeria. So me being a Yoruba girl, I know it, I like it. So I'm taking some of that to Accra. I'm taking so many things, including the coco yam, uh, the native one that most Igbo people use to make soup. I'm just a Nigerian, like I'm an all with I'm an African. Let's say I'm an African, yeah. So I'm taking some with me. I will show you guys the things I'll be taking. I hope I won't get into trouble at the borders thinking I'm selling them, but they will understand because the quantity of what I'm taking is not much. We have all these things in Ghana, but why can't I take them from home from my mom's farm straight? So if you need yam or something, Gary, just comment down below, okay? I'll tell you how to get it. Just a few, okay? Please, if you need like one or two, I got you. But if you need more than that, I'm sorry, I cannot. <laughs> because I'm not taking that much. I cannot carry load. All right. The whole of this place was green, beautiful, with different crops on, on the land. But now, look at it. Is so different brownish and dusty this season of the year is like this in ukele ukele has two personalities mama it's a best thing i don't know how to do this that is why i'm not helping Rambo, is this what i am or yam you guys you didn't know my mom have blown on youtube a guy copied some of my video here yeah a young nigerian um creator copied one of my videos some clips from my video to tell a story on his own channel and the video went viral 
almost 500k views and my mom was in it just what she likes my mom liked to be in my video she likes it and then finally she's out there so i'm so happy for her. i've told her I, I told her about it and she was like really okay nice <laughs> so let's continue the harvest guys my mom has a dog hey mama hey ebanezana bingo bingo mm. just like that if you can't give a pet name to your dog then you don't get one bingo 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 so a guy copied my mom This is from that farm. My mom is feeling it. This is what we are gonna eat this morning. I can't believe I'm eating. I, I eat. I'm eating pounded yam in the morning. Unlike me. But this is really one man sister bro for me. Thank you, mom. <laughs> so she brought this for me. You see this one? You can keep it for ten years. It will not go bad. It's palm oil, but it's a special one we used to eat yam here in my village. Even if you keep it for a very long time, it won't go bad. If it's God or the dog. So I'm taking this with me to Ghana. So any day you come to my house, all you have to do is ask me for the palm oil. That special oil that I brought for my village. I'll give it to you to try, okay? I'll give you some, but don't ask for too much. Yeah, alright. This one. This is herbal medicine. I'm taking it to someone in Accra. One of my Ghanaian acquaintances that have been complaining of a certain ailment for a very long time. So I told my herbalist uncle. So my uncle said this is going to work. So, and I hope it works. Because this person has spent money... This person I've been to everywhere, so I just felt like, okay, when I go to my village in Nigeria, I'm going to look for it because here they have, um, sometimes, sometimes people come from very far places like Lagos, Abuja, Bini, Ibadan to come for treatment here, or Nicha, Saba, people come here for native treatment. So if you have, if you're suffering for something like stroke, um, epilepsy, lot of these sicknesses, they have the medicine here in my village. This is not for that, for any of the ailments I've mentioned, but this is for something also that someone needs. So I want to go give the person to try and see if it works. If it works, I'll be very, very happy. If this one does not work, I pray the person finds solution. Take care of your health. This person have gone to the hospital. Though. It's not like they have not. So. I'm packing my things. I'm ready to go. Hey, they gave me all of this Gary to take to me. My mom gave me all of this Gary to take to Accra. This is too much. I cannot. So I want to reduce it for them. Accra is not Lagos. Accra is not Abba. Accra is not Abuja. It's far. So I have to reduce it and carry whatever. Mm -mm. Mama, I, don't, I can't carry load, please. I still have other things to carry, like yam and my own bag. Other things, small, small things are picked here. Please, I can't carry load. I know there are people I can give. It's not like I can't finish it, but to carry it. Not easy to carry. So this kokonte, this amala. This is cassava flour, and this is yam flour. I don't know. I'm going to carry all these things. Let me put them in the sack back. 
I'm going to put it in this sack back and see. This, I'm going to include this here in this package. This one is cocoa yam. You yeah, get it? The local cocoa yam. Very, very expensive at the Nigerian shops in Accra. If you can find it too. They don't usually bring it. They bring the powdered one and it's nothing close to this. The taste is different. So I'm taking this one so I can share with my friends. My Nigerian friend. And I'm going to include these herbs that is sent to someone in Accra. Alright. This is herbal medicine. Very, very effective. Right, so I'm taking this five tubers of yam they're quite big i honestly do not know how i'm going to get across i'm going to get them across to the house in accra <laughs> hey all these things are in ghana over here eh? these are all free from home given to me by my mama so i don't know from that I found that you saw last year okay i don't know how i'm going to carry this thing i hope i'm everything This is the first time I'm taking things from my house to Accra. And this is the second time I'm coming to my village ever since I moved permanently to Ghana. But the, the, other, the first time I came, I didn't take anything. I refused to. Or maybe because there was nothing to take at that time. Just like that. I'm a strong It's going to include some water yam. So I'll be taking this. This bag. This bag. And my box. We are also taking this two water yam. Mama, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. If these things get to us. But how will I carry God help me? Oh. Help me, oh. So I don't end up with them in Lagos. The Lord. this is me on a bike riding out of my village heading to my hometown where I'm going to be able to get a proper vehicle that will convey me down to lagos nigeria guys you see my mom sweats all the yams that my mother gave to me from her farm her sweats it were all of them were stolen from the vehicle that I entered from my hometown which is ogoja to lagos nigeria the my co-passenger stole the yams stole my mom's sweat the good news is that when I was about leaving, I realized that the yams were too much and I had too much to carry to be able to make the load um, more uh, easy for me. I decided to drop yams, almost everything, and took three tubers of yam, but everything got stolen from me, guys. Such a shameful thing that I'm sharing, but it hurts so bad. It hurts me really bad. I won't lie. Because this is something that I truly need. Like from my mother's farm. I'm taking it home to Accra. Why will somebody do this to me? But it's okay. Life happened. So I'm crossing over to... The reason I'm going to my hometown. I can get a vehicle from my village down to Lagos. But I want to go to my hometown. So I can see my sister and her family. Sort some things there. Before heading to Lagos. And then back to Accra. More videos are still coming. Okay. Don't go nowhere. Right. Thank you for all the love. All right. For those of you, my OGs, that have always supported my channel, that have been here, that enjoys watching my videos, if you were here last year on this channel, you remember this river. It was filled up and dirty, you know, looking during the rainy season when I was going home to my village. I, I, I filmed here. I made a video crossing here with the canoe. But right, right now, this is what it is. Season for, there's a season for everything even in our lives so you have to allow the season manifest in your life this is the river it just tell the story this season is for it to look beautiful clean 
and then the next season it's gonna look um dirty and all flowing and you know that's life for you so but the important thing is we move right all right i think it's filming hello what things are turning for me This is how we draw the cutting about videos from my village, okay? So any other video you see from now is somewhere in my hometown and my journey back to Accra and every other thing. But for my village, this is the last one. Thank you. Follow me across the river and see what's up there. Love you. Bye.